Hey, this is Rando Sheeb. I'm playing some Long Venter, and I had some difficulty figuring out how to get the items for house upgrades, like light bulbs, water containers, and metal gears. These can't be made, but they can be acquired in different ways. Gears are one of the easiest farms now that I know how to do it. Uh, first, you have to build your tent, then upgrade to a hut. Once that's done, you have to acquire roughly 30 gears, if I recall correctly, to do all your electrical upgrades. Then you have to learn the world map and raid the spawn chests of the warehouses to get your first metal gear and craft a gun. Or you can hit the arena chests and find a complete gun. I recommend the semi-automatic because the other guns waste a lot of ammo. I haven't tried the assault rifle for hunting because I use them all in auto defenders, but uh, the shotgun and the machine gun are absolute garbage for hunting. You'll probably find some ammo too while pilfering the chests, but if not, you can buy it reasonably at Sorola's Secret Shop. Uh, next, get some warm packs, tea, or coffee, uh, and a bunch of food to keep your health up while you're in the cold regions, because that's where the Kiruna live, and where you have to hunt them. There are a few that spawn near Sorola's that you can farm if no one's trying to kill you. The key to killing Kiruna before they run off into the ocean, where you can't loot them, is to approach them from the south and at an angle. You will probably hear them before you see them. So use your right mouse button to switch to aim mode and you will see further off the screen. Uh, place your cursor on the opposite side of them to draw a straight line to fire and then left click to shoot. I recommend firing two to four times as fast as possible to conserve ammo. You'll see that the Karuna will run off, but don't worry. If there's another Karuna, shoot him as well. Just remember which way they ran off and slowly move towards them. Use your aim mode to catch them right at the edge of the screen, then repeat targeting, firing two to four times. You should be able to typically kill them in two to tr three tries unless they become obstructed by trees or terrain. When you approach Kiruna from the side or from the top of the screen, they will see you early and run off, so always approach from the south when possible. Uh, once you've cleared the spawn and looted your feathers, walk off the screen a bit and return and they should be respawned. Repeat until you have what you need or run out of food, cold buffs, or ammo. Then cash in your feathers at Sorola's vending machine for gears. You will most likely get the pristine feathers while doing the metal gear farm as well. See here at the end where you cash in feathers for gears or pristine feathers for marks. There is also a cylindrical vending machine here that sometimes has building upgrade mats and ironically this time had gears for sale as well as light bulbs. So be sure to stock up on light bulbs, sheet metal, water containers, or titanium ingots if you see them on the vending machines as these can only be obtained otherwise by looting them one at a time from spawn chests which is very slow. Take care. <laughs>